A church in Harlem had a questionable sign in front of it. It's getting a lot of feedback and attention. They wanted to chime in on this whole discussion about gay rights, and uh, they wrote, Obama has released the homo demons on the black man. Uh -uh. Look out, black women, or black woman. A white homo may take your man. <laughs> so, but wait a minute. Um, even if you had homo demons running around, uh, wh why are they going to take the black men? Like, wouldn't the black men have to agree to it? <laughs> Is he worried that perhaps he would agree to it? There's so <laughs> much ridiculous fear among the gay community. And again, you hit the nail on the head. It's always because they're worried that they are going to do homosexual acts because they have thoughts and desires similar to that. He's saying, so, like, if homosexuals are released into the public, well, obviously I'm going to have sex with them, so you got to watch out, women, because <laughs> so, I would rather have sex with that dude, uh, apparently, and a homosexual demon than you. That's, in essence, what that sign is saying. Now, the pastor of this church is actually uh, an old friend of ours. His name is James David Manning, and we had a little bit of a Twitter feud with him. Not a Twitter <laughs> feud, uh, a YouTube feud, I should say. And uh, it was wonderful. It was absolutely great. But before we get to that, I want to tell you uh, what he said to the press. He says, it's an attempt to save the black family. There's a major problem in the black family uh, with the absence of black fathers, black husbands. Oh yeah, and that has everything to do with gay people. I don't think they're running off to have sex with homosexual demons. <laughs> I think that there might be another issue there. I'm not sure Manning's really looked into it. Yeah. This guy's not only been going after us, but going after President Obama for a long time. Yep. That's his way of trying to get attention. He's the guy who said, long-legged Mac daddy, that, that he, that's what he called Obama. An insult that I still haven't quite figured out. That's, I didn't realize he called Obama that. Yeah, among many different things that he called. He kind of is a Mac Daddy, though. <laughs> I guess in a good way. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know what would be the downside of being long-legged. No, there are no <laughs> downsides. There are no downsides to that. Anyway, so let's uh, let's go back and remember the feud that we had with him. It was absolutely hilarious. He made all these negative videos about us, and the first one uh, was when he questioned what the name of our show was. Take a look. This group, the Young Turks. Who are they anyway? I mean, are they are they people from Turkey or are they? some sort of a street gang. I mean, I've never heard, you know, I don't even, this is a guy's name, I think his name is Sink Uger. You know, I, what kind of name is that anyway? I mean, where is he, who, where was he born? Was he born in the, in the Baltic somewhere, in Bosnia? You know, was he born on some other planet? Why did he get a name like that in the first place? And then the name Young Turks. Why don't they, you know, why don't they speak English, whoever they are? How would you have understood what we said if we weren't speaking English? Okay. And he's like, Young Turks, where's he from anyway? Bosnia? <laughs> he said your last name perfectly, which I kind of give him a little credit for, right? Okay. But not the first name. Okay. All right. If you put two and two together, you might have come up that I was born in Turkey. But all right. <laughs> keep, keep trying, brother. Oh, the next video, uh, he talks about you specifically, Jenk. Can't mm. wait. Take oh, a look. Can't wait. I don't know what this guy's name is, Sink? Maybe his name is 50 Sink? 50 Cent? Is his name 50 Cent? What's that? Sink? C-E-N-K? Maybe it's 50 Sink. Maybe it's spelled wrong. It should be a T at the end rather than a K. And we call him 50 Cent. And then they call him Yuka. I don't know. Maybe it's Bob. Maybe it's, maybe it's, it's Bob Yuka, his daddy. How, this guy is really, really dumb, right? Like, he's extremely stupid. And people go to his church. Like, they listen to what he has to say. That's... Scary. Yeah. Uh, okay, just to clarify, Bob Bucher is not my daddy, okay, nor my 50 uh, cent. Although that's kind of fun. There's more, there's the more. The C is pronounced like a J, uh, Pastor Manning. It's Cenk, okay? I know, it's Turkish slash Bosnian, but. So in the next video, he has more questions about your ethnicity. Take a look. Okay. Well, I can't say these, because these are two white people. I guess this guy's white. He looks like he's an Arab or something. He's, he looks like he got some black blood in him, this guy said, because he's really, he really brown skin. I mean, compare, put the two of us together, see who's the darker skin, me or this guy Sink. You know, he's probably passing for white anyway. Who's the darkest, who got the darkest skin? Well, what, what, what difference would it make if I had darker skin than you? But you can see, say, he's got many layers of self-hatred. You know, yeah. like why? Why would it be like so? If I'm darker, is that a bad thing? I don't know. Right? I don't know what his point is. I, uh, but it's hard for me to <laughs> figure it out since I'm an Arab Bosnian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the sink is. So, so um, you know, he had not only an issue with Jank, but he also had an issue with Jr. He felt that Jr. was kind of selling out to work at the Young Turks. So let's hear what he had to say about that. 
This guy, J.R., let me say a word about him. I don't know where he got his name. J.R. Jackson, he's, he's, he's this guy, uh, Chink's Tonto. So you can call Chink the Long Ranger, and this guy, J.R., call him Tonto, because he's a, he's a sidekick. <laughs> We've been calling J.R. J.R. since. <laughs> That was, that was better than 50 sick. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, and he has a problem with the fact that JR or JJAR uh, has dreads. But let me go back to this guy, JJAR. I see he's got all that dumb dreadlocks in his hair. I said, well, you, you know, you know what, you know what, can I tell you can something about black men that wear dreadlocks? They, uh, they want people to think they're bad. You know, because the Rastafarians used to, when the first one came out with that, you know, you know, all the rest of black people were in process. You know, they were having, having their hair, cock, they had their hair cockaline. But the Rastafarians, you know, Haley Selassie and all that crowd down in Jamaica and, and Ethiopia, you know, they're the ones who came up with the dreadlocks. And then if you saw a man in dreadlocks, you say, well, black man, he must be really tough. And so scaredy cat, sissified black men with dreadlocks because they want everybody to think they're tough. Well, I didn't know that about JJR. He might also be a long-legged knack, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this I guy's got it. a lot of theories, man. He does, he does. And then finally, he has a theory about me getting hired for the Young Turks. Oh, this is my absolute favorite video. Okay. See, there I am, and there he is. Who's the darkest, who got the darkest skin? How <laughs> ignorant is this man? He, this what? is like Debbie Schlussel ignorant, okay? And that's what? pretty damn ignorant. Really, you're going to oh, put oh, two oh, different oh, pictures and hold hold skin it, color? It, but, but what's hilarious is... Now listen, uh, Jink, I was going to let this go. I was going to hang up my rock and roll shoes and not deal with y'all anymore because I suspect that you just want to use me to build an audience for yourself to try to get yourself some sort of popularity. Uh, but now I was not going to respond. But let me tell you why I'm responding now. You know, this woman, whoever she is, uh, called me ignorant three times in, in, in a matter of two seconds. Let me say something to you, you little twit. Uh, you need to understand your contributions to this show are your boobs and not your brains. Don't you call me ignorant. Who do you think you are? I mean, just because you want to try to make yourself look good, call me ignorant? Well, keep focus on the fact of why you're on there. Your boobs and not your brains. He really likes my boobs. Yeah, well, I don't know about that, but he did notice them, right? <laughs> I think he's he probably a little that? bit more concerned about the homosexual demons. Not, but. not only did he notice it, and by the way, total coincidence that I'm wearing the exact same sweater. I know, I was going to say that. That's funny. <laughs> okay, or but. is it a coincidence, Pastor Manning? Come up with <laughs> no. a theory on that one. <laughs> no, what I absolutely love about it is disgusting. They hired her for her boobs. Let's look at them again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that guy's a long-legged neck daddy. <laughs> oh, I love it. I thought that was hilarious. I hope he makes more videos. Yeah, I, my favorite was that he accuses us of trying to use him to get popularity. But Pastor Manning, we already have popularity. <laughs> You're the one putting out signs in the middle of Harlem warning people about the homosexual demons that Obama uh, released uh, into the world to try to get popularity, right? And you criticize us because you already know how big we are online and you were hoping that we did a video like this. But congratulations, you've amused us so much that it, mission accomplished. We did a video on you, nicely done. Absolutely.